Addiction to opioids, including painkillers and heroin, takes more than 29,000 American lives each year. A new treatment for addicts using implants should be available by the end of next month. Anna Werner takes a look. I woke up every day and my focus on life was to find a way to um, have, get an Oxycontin in order to function throughout the day. 39-year-old Chris Borgioni got hooked on painkillers after breaking his hip in 2003. He battled addiction for five years before hitting rock bottom. I knew that if I continued on the path that I was on, I would eventually die. He checked into a clinic where they gave him Suboxone, a pill used to wean addicts off opiates. But he would forget to take the medication and eventually relapsed. It was then that his doctor enrolled Borgioni in a clinical trial for probufine, a new treatment for opioid dependence. Here's how it works. Four one-inch rods the size of a matchstick are implanted into the upper arm. Over a six-month period, the rods slowly release the drug into the bloodstream, which then travels to the brain. There, it latches on to receptors that are usually triggered by prescription pain pills or heroin, effectively blocking the craving to get high. Dr. Richard Rosenthal of New York's Mount Sinai Hospital oversaw the clinical trials. What excited you the most about this new development? A new weapon in our armamentarium to fight drug addiction. The risk for relapse is reduced because you're not going to miss a dose. You're always going to have your mu opioid receptors covered by the medication. With the implant, it will give me the opportunity to, to just live a normal life without feeling the need to take a pill every day. And I'm hoping um, that by doing so, at the end of the treatment, I'll be able to move forward without any medication whatsoever. Dr. Rosenthal says the new treatment could eventually be used to help some 500,000 people who are currently addicted to opiates. The drug's cost is estimated at $6,000 every six months. Anna Werner reporting. Anna, thank you.